It's okay. interesting the, the ongoing relationship between the Commission and uh, Silicon Valley based companies. You forget there are more than 400 million people in Europe who have access to those companies and their products. Just summarize the purpose of your visit and your objectives. Well, it's always good to meet colleagues and you can talk to them by phone, but being here in person matters. We're at a critical stage, so this commission is coming towards the end of its mandate. There's been an awful lot of change around finance, digitalization, we have artificial intelligence, and really we're here to exchange views and to listen to what's happening on the ground here because it's a fast-moving area. Even since my taking up this role, we've seen a huge evolution in banking. Um, COVID accelerated the use of digital payments. Uh, we want payments to be instant. We've got legislation around that. So basically what we're trying to do is harness the benefits of all of these technologies, but all the while looking at the risks that might be involved in them. And our idea is not to stifle innovation. And this is a place where innovation flourishes. So it was good just to exchange. We, some we have a lot to discuss. I'd like to very quickly just tick off crypto. Uh, Coinbase were on the show with me last week mm -hmm. and they had a number of grievances, particularly about uh, legislating for regulation instead of going through courts. What, what were the grievances they brought up to you well, in the context of Europe? The grievance where it didn't arise because actually they feel comfortable that Europe has provided certainty with our markets and crypto assets legislation. And while there might be minor issues within that, at least they know how they will be regulated and licensed at the European level. I think here it's, it's different. So we were able to uh, talk about the benefits of certainty. Very often Europe uh, can can be accused of being rules-based, which I think is actually a good accusation because rules matter, but sometimes over-regulating. I was very interested to hear how certainty is important for a company like Coinbase. And I was also interested that maybe um, a few years ago this was an area of concern. But actually, when you listen to that company and its vision for what could come next in terms of innovation and how they believe regulation is important, I was very encouraged by that. So we didn't have so much of the grievances. I mean, there are issues yeah. that they will talk to us about. And we're very open to talking with and to those who are using our legislation and who need clarification. Commissioner McGuinness, can I push back a little bit? Because... I'm reading a report from Tether, for example, now nowhere near as much oversight as the previous business we were just talking about, but key player within stable coins, the player in stable coins, many would say, and they've gone on the record saying the message being sent is that Europe does not want crypto. Regulation is had that is largely limiting access, especially for retail investors. Brussels effect for many feels like a cooling effect. Well, look, everyone has a different opinion on this. And I think we had three options when it came to crypto. Ignore it and let things evolve. Ban it because we couldn't control it. Or, and this is the approach we have taken, regulate it so that those that are in the industry have certainty about when they're dealing with uh, clients within the European Union. And I think we took the right course. Now, it's a fast-moving area. And equally, many who are in that space originally came to it because they didn't want to be in the regulated zone, if you like. But I do think there's more maturity now that those who want to have a, a lifetime in this business, which will evolve over that time, want certainty in terms of their dealing in the European Union. And we have provided that certainty. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all to the good of the industry itself. It's, uh, in one sense, AI has overtaken some of the yes. conversations around crypto because crypto has been around for some time. Um, it looks like it will prevail. There are different views in Europe about whether crypto is an asset or not and we have all of these conversations what we do in the commission is bear in mind you know the, the greater good so is the balance um, of uh, uh, regulation better than allowing things evolve without any guardrails let's and talk about those guardrails for a moment matters. commissioner apologies to jump in but the ai guardrails for example the ai act how much do you think ai is a concern in terms of well financial stability right now well, I mean, that's a very big question. I, I think the, the issue of we AI... We ask only big yeah, questions yeah, on this but show, It's such a big question that when you listen to some of the scary stories around AI, you would really want to, to stop it immediately. But it is not something that you can actually contain. What we can do is try and look in a measured way at what are the risks. Because not all AI has, is high risk. In fact, some of it is extremely useful. And again, our approach, and it sounds dull, but it's important to say it, it's about balance. Allow the industry evolve, 
but allow those who are, you know, in, 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 if you like, in charge of watching these things, like the Commission and our Parliament, to have a say in how it evolves. And we want it to do good. So we, again, look at the risks involved rather than allow a, an unfettered uh, evolution of uh, artificial intelligence, which is already being used in the financial system in any event. Yeah. I gather I have one who, who talks to me on my, my banking app. We get on sometimes, not all the time. Uh, and I think behind all of this is a desire to harness technology, but not remove the human dimension uh, yes. around technology. And I think there's a risk that that could happen. Uh, so we've been mindful of all of these things, and we have been careful to categorise where the risks are, yes. conscious also that this will evolve. You know, it, it is evolving before our very eyes.